Okay, so here's a film to show you how to use the line tools in TurboCAD LTE. So we have, um, as always, I've turned all the snaps off, except for this one up here, which is a no snap, and down here where you notice here it says snap and geo, they're both greyed out. So I can close that now. And we just override them all with the keyboard shortcuts. So I don't need this anymore. Here's my line tools, properties. From left to right, click on line, left click, click anywhere you like. Just keep clicking it, it'll keep going until you right click and say finish, or if you say close, it'll close the shape. If you say finish the line, we just stop there. Now, the other thing is that we can go from, now if I go to do a line now, you see, uh, I haven't got the line tool, it's dropped the tool. If I want to pick up the tool again, I can hit the space bar. I can snap to that part there to by going Alt V, so I've snapped to that part. I can then use say an Alt M snap there for midpoint. Now, if that comes up, that just means I'm not close enough. So let's have a look. What do you reckon? Is that a bit closer? That's close as far as I can see. Yeah, that's okay. So we're right there. Uh, and then at any point I can take over a game with the I can do it by eye or by typing in the information down these left hand boxes. So if I want a line going over here horizontally, say 200, I'll go tab. 200 tab uh, straight across to be not hit return if I want to come down 200 I can go tab 200 tab straight down would be 270 okay. now hit return you must remember to hit return if I do this over here so I do a 100 if I can go tab 100 tab 180 which is that direction if I forget to hit return when I left click my mouse the line will go to where my cursor is, like that. Okay, so it's tab, uh, length, tab, angle, hit return. Um, and then at any point, as I say, you right click and go to finish, or if you made a mistake on the last one, you've got one step back. So I'll say finish. Simple as that. Uh, perpendicular line, click on the line, type down here the length that you want, choose the line you want, type the length here, say where it's going to be, click again and there it is. Incidentally you'll see these properties uh, lighting up when I choose the line tool. It tells me the line's black, it's a continuous line, it's a standard thickness, it's by pen, we won't get into that in a moment, and none, it means it's got no fill, so if I was drawing a rectangle it, would, it wouldn't it would have a fill, it would just be a, a rectangle. Parallel line, same deal, down here you type in the offset, it says 50 in there, Click onto the line, say what side of the line you want it to be. Uh, and then the circle one. So let's open the, if I go to tools and palettes, tools palette, open up my palettes again. Let's draw a few circles around. There, see that? Click, I've dropped the, I've dropped the, uh, the tool. So hit the space bar, draw a circle, hit the space bar, draw a circle, hit the space bar, draw a circle. The other way to do it is right click and say repeat circle. Okay, so either way, you keep the tool. If you want a circle that's centered on the end of that line, I'll just go return, uh, sorry, space bar to keep the circle, keep the tool, then Alt V will snap it to the end of that line. Closes, I think I've got enough. So. A, tangent, a, a line that's tangential to an arc or at a point. So I click onto the circle or the arc. First click tells me the length. It's down here, so I can type in the length. Second click tells me where it is. So along there, that will be 90. As you can see down the angle, if you look at the angle boxes, that would be 0. That would be 270. That would be 180. So do it by eye or type it in. Uh, this one is a tangential to an arc or a curve. So if I'm going, say, from here, I can go uh, Alt G to snap to that grid and click onto that circle. The other one will go away from circle. So if I go click on the circle here and there, Alt G again, they would join up. This one's tangential to two arcs or circles. So if I choose this one, I can click onto there and there 
I have to pick the space, hit the space bar to keep the tool, and I can click on there and there. So if I'm drawing some sort of cam system here, uh, I'd go to modify, split. I want to split this circle between that intersection, Alt I, and that intersection, Alt I, I for intersection. Hit the space bar to keep the tool. I want that circle split from that intersection, Alt I, to this intersection here, Alt I. Okay. I'm finished with the tool now, so I have to go uh, cancel. I'm in now select mode, so I can click onto that one and hit delete, and that and hit delete. Because although those circles looked exactly the same, I'd split them in two. And then if I needed some holes in these cams, which probably you would do, otherwise it wouldn't be a lot of good to expect, I could go onto here and do Alt C, space bar. Alt C, whatever. Okay, so there's my cam. Important to remember that this cam is consisted of a number of different uh, parts at the moment. So I've got one line here, and one line there. So it's not a continuous line. If you wanted to extrude it and make that into 3D later on, you would need to join the polyline. So here's the join the polyline tool. You need to go around each line, four sections. Then tell it you've finished it, so right click or go down the bottom say finish drawing polyline. And now when you select that, you're selecting the whole thing, it's one continuous part. Um, so that's that bit. Uh, this one is the shortest distance between two circles, so one, two, does that. And this one is a bisecting line. So if, for example, we have um, two lines and we want to bisect them, we can click on here, there, there, and that bisects it. <coughs> the lines don't have to be joined. They can be separate lines. And it will um, uh, and it will still work, and it will just go from the point where they would have met if they had kept going. So um, that could be useful. Uh, if you were drawing, say, something like uh, something, you know, to divide this thing up into a number of <coughs> sections, you might take this, you might go Alt Q there for a quadrant point of circle, and Alt C for the center of circle. Here, Alt Q, that's a three o'clock part. Right click, you finish that there. You could then choose uh, your bisecting tool. We can get rid of that. Bisecting tool, I click on here and there. I can take that right out, spacebar to keep the tool, there and there, right out, spacebar to keep the tool, there and there, right out. Now we need to trim those back to there. We've got modify, if we were just trimming one, it'd be shrink or extend line, but as we're doing many, it's multi shrink or extend line. Left click, left click, and the line you're going back to. <coughs> okay, that's about it for now, I think, more fun next week.